Flaws and lies are two of the key components to a great character arc, and yet so many writers out there make the mistake of ignoring one or the other, or even both. Today I want to explain why both are important and how you can implement them into your character arcs. What's up guys, my name is Brandon McNulty, I'm a writer and welcome to my writing channel. As I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about the subject of character flaws and character lies, and these are both important for helping you develop a great character arc, so pay attention. And I want to start off by saying that flaws and lies are two different things. I know there's some overlap, but at the same time they are separate and they're not to be mistaken for one another. When we're talking about character flaws, we're talking about a character's weakness, and this is something that prevents them from being happy and finding meaning in their lives. And whenever we're writing stories, usually a character is torn in two different directions between the thing that they want and the thing that they need in order to be happy. So typically when, when they give in to their flaw, it usually brings them back toward their want or their selfish goals or whatever it may be. And when they overcome their flaws, they get a little closer to what they need in order to be happy. So keep that in mind. And as for as far as examples go, when you're coming up with flaws, I mean, some of the most typical ones are things like greed and selfishness and cowardice and arrogance. There are so many different flaws out there. If you're ever scratching your head trying to figure out one, just look at the seven deadly th sins and ask yourself, okay, which one best fits my character and then work it from there. Now keep in mind that character flaws can often play out in external ways, meaning that we see them on the screen or we see actions in the, in the course of your book. Now for instance, you might have a character who's very greedy and what we might see is we, we see them stealing from other people or we see them hoarding their wealth like Ebenezer Scrooge. Character flaws typically play out in a way that we see them, especially early on in the story where we, we see the character getting established. So keep that in mind, it's very important to show your character's flaws over the course of the story. Now, when it comes to character lies, that's a little different. Character lies are mostly internalized. We, we don't necessarily see them or they're not explicitly stated over the course of the story. And what a character lie is, is it's a belief that a character has either about themselves or about other people that prevents them from being happy and finding meaning in their lives. So a character lie can be something like a character believes that they're not worthy of love or they believe that you have to have a shitload of money in order to be happy or they believe that other people are out to get them. There's a lot of potential character lies out there, but these these lies are typically internalized. It's something that, that they, they keep hidden, they keep buried, and typically these lies result from something in their backstory. Something, maybe, maybe a life event taught them a lesson, or maybe a person told them to believe this lie early on, like, oh, you'll only be happy if you make a lot of money, so, so take a job that, that makes you miserable as long as it pays well, or something like that. You know, Basically, when you're coming up with your character lie, you want to think about what a character believes and how it prevents them from being happy. Now, character flaws and lies are two different things, but they work together in order to create internal conflict. And internal conflict is so important in your story. If your story does not have internal conflict, it's basically a series of events without meaning, one thing after another. Character does this, does that, and then beats the bad guy at the end. And who cares? But if your story has internal conflict, that's where it gets interesting. Instead of it just being character does this, does that, and beats the bad guy, it's character does this and has to face their flaw and decide whether or not they want to overcome it. Then they do that and have to recognize the lie that they believe and ask themselves, do I really believe that? And then at the end of the story, when they have that final confrontation, they're usually given a choice between the flaw and the strength, between the lie and a new belief. And if they make that choice for the better, they become a different person. So how about an example of a character arc where we have both a flaw and a lie? Let's take a look at Han Solo's character arc in the original Star Wars movie. Now, if you remember, at the beginning of the movie, when we're introduced to Han Solo, we see right up front that he's a cynical guy. All he cares about is money, getting paid, paying off his debts. He doesn't care about anything like the Force or the Rebel Alliance or, or Luke or Obi-Wan's well-being or anything like that. He just wants to get a job done, get paid. That's all that matters to him. Then over the course of the story, we still see that cynicism playing out. When when Obi-Wan teaches him about the Force, Han Solo says, hey, you know, it's all luck. I, I've been from one end of the galaxy to the other. I have no reason to believe in something like that. 
And then toward the end of the story, when Luke challenges Han to help out during the Death Star battle, Han says to him, you know what, it's a suicide mission, I don't want to get involved, you take care of yourself. We see this over the course of the story, we see how cynical Han is. And his lie, I think, is best exemplified in what he says to Luke during that conversation before the Death Star battle. If you remember, Han Solo says to him, what good is a reward if you ain't around to use it? That's his character lie. And his lie is that he should always take care of himself before he takes care of others. And that, of course, is something that he overcomes in the final moments of the movie where he puts himself on the line, he enters the Death Star battle, and he saves Luke as he's doing the trench run and ends up saving the Rebel Alliance in the process. So that's an example of a simple, effective character arc that includes a flaw and a lie and internal conflict. If you notice over the course of the story, Han Solo, he doesn't shed his flaw at first, he doesn't shed his lie. He still struggles with them. In the middle of the movie, he's, he's willing to put himself on the line for Princess Leia, but only because he expects a reward out of it. He doesn't. He's not totally self-sacrificing until the very end, and that's a great way to write a character arc. You show a character develop over the course of the story. They have the flaw. They start to develop a strength, but it's not until the very end where they truly overcome that flaw. I hope this helps. If you're interested in some more detailed information on character flaws and character lies, I have two great books I can recommend you. The first one is The Nutshell Technique by Jill Chamberlain. I did a review on it last year. I still stand by all the great things I said about it in that review. It's a great book for understanding character flaws and how to weave them into your story. I will link it in the description below. I will also highly recommend the book Creating Character Arcs by K.M. Wieland. It's one of the best books out there on writing. Definitely check it out. It delves into the subject of character lies, and she gives a lot of great examples of you know, famous stories that include them and how to develop your own character lies and implement them over the course of your story. So definitely check out those two books. I'm linking them in the description below. Cannot recommend them enough if you want to take a step forward as a writer. Question of the day, what is your main character's flaw and what is the lie that they believe? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend. Do your best to overcome your flaws. And as always, remember to keep on writing.